going to talk about this Hyper Shocker mountain bike from Walmart. More specifically, I'm going to talk about this front suspension that is on the bicycle. These bicycles are only $99 at Walmart. Obviously for $99, you're not expecting to get a specialized or a Trek full-blown dual suspension mountain bike, but I want to pick on a couple things about this. First, this is a card that comes on the bicycle, mentions the dual suspension, and it clearly calls it a mountain bike. Hypershocker MTB. So another card that comes on it that clearly mentions that it is made for trails, casual riding, and it improves handling off-road, that suspension. Usage keeps superior control on rough terrain and downhill trails. Well, that's where the suspension comes in handy. This has dual suspension, but today I'm going to talk about the front suspension on this and why it's really not very much of a suspension. Let's look at the full travel on this suspension. As you can see, it doesn't move very much. As a matter of fact, it moves so little, I measured it. Let me show you what the results were. Let me show you how I got my measurements. I just took the boot and pushed it up out of the way, taped it up, put a band around this fork shaft that goes down into the shock on the suspension, and I pushed it down until it was against the base of this shock. And then I compressed the fork down. Well, when I did, that moved it up enough that I could then take a piece of paper, stick down against the base, and then mark it, then just measure my mark, which I did. And I got right at a half of an inch. So that's one half of an inch when converted to millimeters is 12.7 millimeters. Now, I want, to think, I want you to think about that for a second. This suspension on a quote-unquote mountain bike has, doesn't matter if it's a $99 mountain bike or a $500 mountain bike, it has 12.7 millimeters of travel on that front suspension. That may as well be a fixed suspension because it's not going to do anything on a mountain bike trail or even any significant bumps. Uh, that is so little. By comparison, my Trek Dual Sport which isn't even a mountain bike, it is a hybrid. My Trek Dual Sport has 63 millimeters of fork travel, and that's the lowest that I've really seen on anything with the front suspension of any quality. A mountain bike, a true mountain bike, will have a minimum of 75 millimeters on the lowest end mountain bikes. Most of the good ones uh, have 100 or more millimeters travel. So again, 75 millimeter, a base mountain bike, this has 12.7 millimeters. So just to show you how different that is, I'm gonna compare it to the only bike that I have here right now, which is my Trek Dual Sport with that 63 millimeter. Remember, not even a mountain bike. Let's look at those side by side so you can see the difference. I think those results speak for themselves. And remember, this Trek Dual Sport that's not a mountain bike suspension. That is a hybrid bicycle suspension. Of course, I push it on mountain bike trails and it actually does very well, but that's because it's a Trek. It's a well-engineered, pricey compared to a Walmart bike bicycle. But just think about this, a hybrid 63 millimeters, which you'd never see on any kind of a true mountain bike. And then something that is marketed as a mountain bike, a dual suspension mountain bike, that has 12.7 millimeters and not just 12.7 millimeters, there's very little resistance to bottom that fork out. I can do it with my left hand, just lightly pressing on the bike. We took this to a trail and it literally was beating itself to death. You'll see that in the video. Noises, things started happening. Uh, again, upcoming video on that. But overall, the point that I wanna make is that this bicycle is clearly marketed as a mountain bike and it mentions superior control on rough terrain and downhill trails. My argument is this shouldn't be marketed as a mountain bike. It should be marketed as a mountain style bicycle because if someone buys this, I don't care if it's $99 or what the price is on these Walmart bikes, but specifically this $99 one. If someone buys this and tries to take it onto a trail, there's a good chance you're going to get hurt on this bicycle if you take it onto any kind of a true mountain bike trail. Riding around the neighborhood, that's probably fine. In your yard, I'm sure it can handle that, even though I did bottom out this suspension in my front yard. But 
that's just something I wanted to cover. You need to be very leery of these $99 mountain bike bicycles if you think that they're going to be able to perform like a mountain bike because this suspension is going to beat itself to death if you try to do anything with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.